Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Bloodborne. And I'm hoping this is the last episode actually. I'm gonna try to get through the Nightmare of Menses and then try to get through the endings. Uh, I might be off after the first boss in order to obtain a couple items that I need to get the secret ending. And then from there, uh, I should be able to finish off the, the story. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, when, I, when you go through the Nightmare of Menses, I strongly recommend keeping your insight below 10 and having uh oops i did that by accident uh and heal uh and having sedatives and fire paper for the beasts that are here if you kill your if you kill those beasts uh, normally they will drop like maggots but if you kill them with fire um they won't drop those maggots come on bring it on dude oh god i know you saw me dude wow there's two of them oh god I gotta stay out of sight. Uh, if, if I do, uh, it won't catch me with frenzy. Uh, that's why my frenzy meter is kind of high right now. It's primarily because of that. Um, oh god, uh, let's go this way. Uh, come on, you fucking asshole! I know he saw me. The good thing is that 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 dude also hits them. So. He's gonna do a discharge. Okay, I gotta be quick here. As soon as I start running, I should have my sedatives out just in case. Let's go, let's do this. He's up there. So I'll have to just get, um, get through this. I think automatically builds up frenzy. Uh, all he has to do is just look at you. Where I know he's up there in some balcony. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Okay. Oh God. See, he's up there. He knows I'm here. But he's not going to see me. Oh, do you see those maggots down there? Uh, if if I would have had fire, uh, they wouldn't have spawned. Okay, now here's where it gets really annoying. Those little... They're, they're called nightmare children, but... That means he can see me from this point, so I have to be fast. See, he knows I'm here. He's trying to get me. One, two, three, four. So there's four of them. I have to be fast. I either have to be fast or I have to... I knew it. Oh, uh, here come the rocks. Oh, God. Chunks. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Yes. Nice. So they give you a lot of blood because it's not bad. Huh? All right. Nice. Oh, nice. There's an item over here. Lost on chunks. Nice. All right, I'm gonna wait ahead. <coughs> See, that brain knows I'm here. He's trying to get me. Well, he won't. Fire is effective. 
Look at all those eyes on the floor. Uh, oh, those are spider eggs. Oh. Good. God. Oh, here you are. Senior Sabelle has been erased. See, the brain can't see me from here. He's over there. I'm gonna get him. Alright, dude. If I don't take care of you now. There he goes. Madman's knowledge. Hidden path away to head. What? You liar. <clears throat> oh, that liar. There is a hidden path, but I don't think it's here. Reeks of animal, no, no shit, dude. God, there is a lot of them. I'm surprised I didn't fall off. Don't be fooled. Uh, I was fooled. <laughs> oh god. There's just so many of them. Yeah, I know if I... I think if I went backwards... I'd be okay. But if I got rid of that one, it'd be gone for good. I think it's only uh, it, it's only that one. And it, and, it, and it doesn't respawn. So. I might have to just take the risk and have them all come and get me. Come and get me, assholes. Okay, there's one. Come on. There we go. Now that one can't get through that door. That's why I ran this way. That's a one shot. Oh god. Whoa, it's got a lot of reach. There we go. Should have just stood there and let me kill you. Okay. See, that thing can... I can hear it. See how everything is illuminating? It knows I'm here. I think it's glitched. Because normally it doesn't do that. Shaman's bone blade. Okay. Remember, oh yeah, there's an asshole over here. Oh god. Now this guy here works for, I can't remember if it's Bergenworth that he works for. But, but he's a spy. Or choir intelligence. Edgar, choir intelligence. Uh, he works for the choir. There we go. Not much of a spy, huh? It's probably why everything that's been happening happened because you suck at being a spy. Where am I? Okay, I gotta get through this fast because I, I now I remember all the stuff I gotta do. Ah, uh, let's see. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Mm. Open up. Yellow backbone. 
that's one thing uh if you guys notice i you know, probably didn't notice but uh, i haven't been doing the challenge dungeon runs that's because i even though this, this is a this is my last video for bloodborne story mode uh, it's not the last bloodborne based content i'll be doing i'll be doing more uh primarily based on the on the lore and then the challenge dungeons i'll be doing slowly the thing is that resident evil 8 just came out and i want to play that making noise uh, it's an elevator I think this takes me to the other side if I recall yes it does it takes me to this side here so I can open this lantern see I think he's glitched because he's not supposed to see me over here it's kind of cool <laughs> okay going back up so hey he's turned on that lantern I should be able to come this way a lot faster now yeah, I think it's glitched. Cause it's, it's not supposed to see me all the way over here. Oh, these guys. These guys won't attack you unless you attack them. They're not really that, that, that hostile. There we go. Beast blood pellets. I haven't used a beast blood pellets at all. Uh, they're very useful. Uh, they increase your overall attack power by a massive amount. Uh, but I don't really care to use them. These guys don't do a lot of damage either. All they do is try to push you. Which become kind of annoying in later in later parts of this of this area because uh, they'll just push you off a ledge. Dickheads. <laughs> uh, okay. Blue elixir, which are still nice. Like I said, I'm I'm still gonna do the Charles Dungeon runs just on a separate video. Uh the reason again, uh, the reason why I don't want to do them at the moment or haven't released videos on the Chalice Dungeons because one, I lost footage of the lower the Marion um, Chalice Dungeon and that hurt. I was like, God, man, I fucking lost it. This sucks. There we go. I, it's actually been a while since I've played now that I think about it. I was busy. Trying to get the mechanics uh, set up for Guild Conquest on King's Raid. Uh, that's the reason why I haven't been too active on either Bloodborne or King's Raid content. Hopefully next week, I should be able to get you guys some footage of Guild Conquest 2. Uh, go away. You can cheese one of the enemies here. I can't remember if it's this one. Yes, yeah, this guy. Oh, he's dead. This guy's cause bleed, so I gotta be careful. Well, they do a lot of damage. Really? Oh, that asshole's gonna... He's gonna get to me. I gotta be careful. Oh, God, this is annoying. See, and, and that's what I'm trying to heal. God damn it. Fucking asshole. There we go. Now you. Oh, I'm going to have fun with you right now. Really? There we go. That felt good. Felt good killing him. Well, this guy's following me all the way over here. See, I gotta be careful. These guys will try to throw me off. Okay, so I missed an item over here. Madman's knowledge. And there's an item, another item over there. There we go. That elixir. Awesome. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. <laughs> I'm trying to recall how 
large this area is. I think it's, I think Merkel's loft is pretty long. Oh yeah, these things are weird. Got all of them? Yeah, see these things are really weird. Again, it, it's a nightmare. But it, it kind of gives you that, that kind of insight that the crows, whenever they attacked you, they made those dog sounding... Uh, they almost sounded like dogs when they attacked you. And it's, it's the reason why is that their heads were actually dogs. And in the wolves, they have kind of like this crow. And they have the crow heads. So they're, they're like the opposite. It's weird. Coming up here. What's over here? Oh, there's the crows up there. Just come down here. There we go. Really? There you go. Okay, the crow faced once. There we go. Okay. So far, I'm moving pretty fluently across it. Hopefully, it's, it stays that way. <laughs> uh, you drive a pebble? Yeah, I knew it. How did I know? Oh, hell no. <laughs> the baby's crying. Tempering. Not impressed. I think I missed a spot uh, or an area back here. Now oh, there we go. Nothing here? No, it's just a small little balcony. Well, what are you going to say? Beware a bird, therefore, dress and sing with care. Really? It's right there. Oh, well. They're trying to be smart. Hmm. Again, this is a nightmare. Uh, th there shouldn't be any landmarks. Like per se, I can see uh, Yarnum from here. Uh, it's it's a nightmare. It's uh, an area created through the some conscious mind of the baby. Now this is gonna take me down, I believe. <clears throat> yes, it's another shortcut. Awesome. That way I don't have to go around and face the chieftains. Going back up. See, the glitch is gone. And that brain was, uh, it was glitching hard. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm nearing the boss. Oh god, this is the boss. Oh god, I hate this boss. All right, now you. Nice. Madman awaits ahead. Therefore, remember close range fights. Uh, okay, before. You know what? I'll wait a bit. Uh. She cursed you, dude. This is the guy that was sitting in that chair. The one that said that was the, the one that caused all of this. I think he's the. He's one of the characters that actually caused all of this. Now, where are you, dude? I'm gonna have fun doing this. Okay, this is to the second stage of it, so it's not here. Where is he? Oh, there you are. You should just stop running and just let me kill you.
Ah, oh, God. Ah. Oh. Man. The thing is, I can't kill these dolls, that's why I'm not even bothering fighting them. There you are. She doesn't, dude. I already told you that. She cursed you. Oh, stupid dolls. Wait, where is he? Oh. Oh god, you're so weird, man. Oh! Plus, I'm actually going to a separate area. Okay, good. You didn't miss any dialogue, he was just screaming like an idiot. There we go. Yes. The moon rune. That's a level 2 moon rune. The level 3 moon rune is also here. But you gotta do something specific to get it. There we go. So far, so good. I just, I just wish this boss didn't talk so much. Let's go. There you are. Really? Oh, God. Quick silver bullets, okay. Ah, uh, okay, so I gotta head up. Is this where I came from? I think it's this way. Did this one? God damn it, dude. Stop talking. Okay, I'm missing something here. Oh, is it here? No, it's not here. Shut up! God damn it, dude. Okay, I came through this way, right? Yeah, I came up this way and I saw him up there. Is it this way? Uh, do do do. Oh, there it is. Yeah, iron door key. Okay, I needed that item. That's why I wanted to go back and get it. And cold blood. Okay, so I got everything I needed from here.
Man, those dolls do a lot of damage. God, shut up. Where is he? God. Good. Fuck, oh, man, dude, you're annoying. Puts me at 12 insight. I gotta lower my insight. There we go. That's that bridge I came in through the first, uh, when I entered the, the, the boss fight itself. So, uh, the bridge is racing up so I can get to the other side. God, this boss is annoying. And one thing I hate about this boss is the fact that he talks so much. It's like, man, dude, really? Gates opening. I think that's what gets a lot of players uh, about this boss is that he keeps, he's really annoying. See how the dolls died. Also, one thing before I continue, uh, he did mention that if he, do I go this way? Uh, when I killed him or his subconsciousness, he said, oh, I'm waking up. Uh, I'll forget everything. Uh, that's just a normal reaction that humans have when they wake up. I don't know if you guys noticed this or you guys noticed that uh, that aspect is that sometimes when you wake up, uh, you remember your dream for a short period of time. Uh, maybe the first five minutes that you wake up, you'll remember it. But if you ever try to tell your, your dream to someone else uh, later on throughout the day, uh, you won't remember. It's very rare that you actually remember your own dreams. Okay, now let's see here. So that's why he said, oh, I'm waking up, I'll forget everything. It's because, yeah, most of the times when you dream, you forget. Really? That's another one? Dreams are kind of weird. Also, there's... Uh... Why is the baby crying? Okay, now I have a choice to either, oh god, that kind of like got me by surprise. I can try to kill the brain now, but if I miss it, man, I'm gonna, all right, let's try it. I have to aim for that, for that window right there to try to get the brain. There we go. I can always use a hunter's mark to get back to that. Oh god. Inflected organ. Okay, now this is where I need these. And I need... Oh, I got that weapon. I, I was going to showcase that to you guys. Oh god, don't tell me I took off the runes. Oh, I did. Oh god, this ain't good. I'm not going to deal as much damage, but it's enough to stagger them at least. I forgot I took off the runes. I forgot I, I had to deal with these these lanterns. I kind of have to go Mater Gear Solid style right now to try to get to them. Uh, they are... One, one of the things I am going to... I forgot to mention here is that... When I fought Koss on the other episode, on the previous episode, uh, I did say that Koss was a kin. Uh, he's not. He's not considered kin. That's one of the, uh, one of the things I want to clarify before I actually continue is that uh, lightning does not work 
you don't get effectiveness from kin hunter runes or anything like that. God, this is gonna. Okay, let's just go with it. Oh god, I still took. I still took the damage. This ain't good. I'm gonna have to put some lightning paper. Yes, I'm gonna put some lightning paper so I can kill them faster. Slightly paperwork on them. I'm not sure if they're kin, actually, now that I think about it. Mm, I should heal again. That almost took everything. I, I know there's a few of them here. I can't remember if there's three. But I'm going to get that brain. Because I, I get really tired of it. Yeah, there are three. Okay, good. Well, it's not good, but at least I know how many there are. I just got to be careful I don't get hit by both of them. I'm not sure if one's stationary or... <clears throat> Why are they calling Winter Lanterns? Not really sure. I just know, I just know that's what they're called. <clears throat> See, that one knows I'm here. As to what the Winter Lanterns are, uh, they're like manifestations of the dawn. Oh god, I was able to do it before. They're actually nightmare ma manifestations of the doll. I wonder if I can hit it from here. God, they're so creepy looking. I wish there was a way to actually counter them. Ah, uh, there is it. I actually never tried fire paper before on them. I should actually hurry this up. There we go. I just want to have the stack ready to go. Come on. Oh god, it's still hitting me. God damn it. Oh, I got two tempering ones. Oh god, that actually took. I think there's another one still. Ah, uh, there's still one more. And that's a. Uh, this is gonna suck. Oh, as for the students, uh, remember those weird-looking ones? Oh god. See, these are the students too. Uh, they turn into nightmare spiders. Uh, god, these look creepy. That's why you saw uh, patches. The one I killed. He's, he was one of the students. But I think he maintained his subconsciousness. Because these guys, are, they're just mindless spiders. Screw you guys. Forgot there's one more Winter Lantern. And she's over here. Oh no, oh, wait, yes. Yes, uh, she's over here, she's down there. But this is where I dropped the brain. Oh, I'll be waiting for this dude. He's down there. Dude, you deserve this. See you later, dude. Man, that felt good. That felt good. Oh god, she's over there. Cunt. I wish she didn't have that much range, man. She can hit you real, from, from really far away. Oh no! I have to cross in a specific pillar. I can't remember which one it is. Maybe I... Oh man. Do I have a... 
Francie, higher Francie resistant gear. I do. The Yamamura hat. That's also something, again, uh, I found that key and I was able to get those items. I just failed to record those areas. 15. Oh. Seven. Okay, 19. Okay, I'm going to go with this because, oh, man, I don't want to get... Because I have to cross that bridge. And I'm going to take a massive amount of damage. 48. 46, 45. Okay, Hunter. 27, 25, 24, 27, the Hunter. I think the Hunter one gives me the highest frenzy resistance. So does that mean the hat gives me the same amount? No, it's just got a little lower. Oh, it's like a really old version of Curl. With a mask. Okay, so now I got higher. Frenzy resistance. Come on, dude. Fuck. I'm supposed to run for it when she's on the other side. See, she knows I'm here. Again, that's why I know that's a she. Again, she's modeled after the doll. The reason why she... She's based like on a nightmare version of, of the doll. Is because again, uh, this is a uh, hunter's nightmare. She's supposed to be somebody that, uh, somebody that's helpful. But here, uh, she's not. She's actually a nightmare. Come on, dude, bring it. Whoa, she moves fast. I've never seen her run before. Now that was creepy. Wow. I've actually never seen her run like that before. Like, uh, toward the side. She, she usually runs toward you. But this time she didn't. The choir bell. The choir bell is mainly a PvP item. It's not really... Oh, crap. Uh, it's not really for PvE. It's either PB, PvP or... or uh, co-op play like if you summon a phantom uh, you can use it there use it there I did drop the brain so before I go down there to the oh, arcane damp great ones wisdom yeah these guys were these guys were mauled by that brain They're sent. They're sending too close, and the brain just uh, annihilated them. That's why you see all this stuff here. Madman's knowledge. Man, there's a lot of items. A lot of people died here. I did get a bunch of cursed blood gems. I'm, I'm excited to see what they are. Now, remember that key I was looking for frantically a second ago? That's what it was for. It just takes me back to where I fought um, that annoying dude. Basically, that's what it does. Alright, now, I could have taken that shortcut. Uh, the whole reason why I got that item, that key again, is because I wanted to create that shortcut, just in case. But, the main reason why I came here is to come and get an item that's here. And, oh, God, this always takes a lot of damage. It's this item right here. Boom, the blood rock. Yes. Man, this guy was, like, right here. This dude did a lot of damage to me when I was far away. And that guy was just standing, like, two, three feet away from it. As to where the brain is, I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. This is where I fought Edgar. Uh, Choir Intelligence, if you guys remember correctly. It's that that one dude that should have just stayed dead. The Bell Ringing Woman, I guess, because I'm playing online. 
and she's trying to summon another player to this area. I think I skipped all those guys. Okay, now for the brain, it did fall. It actually came down here. Here we go. Uh, this is the main reason why I asked, uh, I suggested to you guys uh, to go to, where is it? Okay, uh, to head over to the uh, old hunter trousers. Yes, and yeah. This is the main reason why I suggested all of you guys to head into the orphanage first. You guys recall I said uh, uh, you gotta go to the orphanage first before you come into the nightmare message because of this. Well, it's still. Yeah, it's almost like a. It, it is a giant brain. Without a doubt, it is. Uh, he's he's actually fucked. He, he got fucked up on the fall. Uh, he's actually. Again, he's a brain. So when he fell, he took a massive hit, basically like a concussion. That's why he's not. He can't do much right now, even though he's right here. Oh, his hand. He's got the same hole like the amygdalas. Okay. Now the reason why I told you guys to go into the. Orphanage first, uh, Upper Cathedral Ward to get this gesture is so that you can make contact with this asshole here. You need a very specific item that he gives you. Well, you don't get a very specific item when you do this. You just get a very special rune. You get a very specific item when you kill the dude. That's why. Uh, do this first so you can get the rune. Because you only get one chance to get this rune. That's when you do this. Because once he's gone, you really can't perform it, basically. Just wait for the make contact gesture to switch sides, and that's it. Whenever it decides. I think it takes 30 seconds, if I, if I recall correctly. There we go. The moon rune. This is the top tier moon rune. Uh, this is the last one. I got three now. Uh, if you equip all three, uh, they'll stack. All right, now. This guy has a ridiculous amount of hit points. I guess it's not surprising that he's got this much hit points. He is a great one after all. But I just wish he died faster. <clears throat> In accumulation, I've done six, nine, almost 10,000 points of damage. Got a lot of hit points. Living strain. Look at all that blood. Ew. Oh, what's it? Okay. Time for con contact. Yep. Time for contact. I did the contact, dude. Head back up. I'm almost done. My, I'm actually almost done. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna take longer. Uh, Thirty minutes plus whatever I took. Going from the entrance to here. Once I head to the upper part, I will take a detour uh, to finish off a couple things so I can get the. Again, uh, I'm gonna get and try to get the secret ending. So I'm gonna take a small detour so that I can get those. That I can get the last item I need. And oh, Yeah, the church pick. I was happy when I got it. I was upset that I didn't record where I got the where I got the key and where I got this weapon. I was, I was upset about it. Uh, I'll let you guys know where it is. If you guys are interested, actually, you know what? If you guys are interested to know, just write down in the comments, and I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be more than happy to let you know to let you guys know where it's at. Let me switch weapons. I'm trying to remember where I was. Okay, so I have to just. Cross the bridge 
over here. Because again, remember the bridge went upwards, so it's, it's not here anymore. I gotta go up this way. I should have just used a hunter's mark. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But. Huh? I'll quick silver bullets. Okay. Going up. And this way. Where am I going? Now I got him lost, aren't I? Oh, it's this way. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Moving on. There we go. I'm almost reaching the top. It's like I'm giving you a pay, uh, play by play. What it is I'm doing. Okay, now. Let me just head up this way. Yes, perfect. Okay, I found my way. Found my bearings. Well, I'm really low on blood bottles now that I'm looking at them. Okay. Really? You again? Stop ringing the bell. Nobody likes that. There's another one up here. It's one of the things I don't like sometimes from uh, from software is that they'll they'll reuse bosses and uh, put them as common enemies. I actually don't like that. I like everything. I like everything being unique. Like okay, you know, you only see this boss once. That's why again, I'm I'm, I'm contra contradicting myself because I really like the Chalice Dungeons and, and that's all you see. It's basically reused uh, assets. And I actually like the DLC. I mean, the and I actually like the Chalice Dungeons because, yeah. yeah. Again, it's contradictory. I gotta perform perform surgery on this guy. I gotta perform some prostate examination. There we go. Hey, <laughs> prostate examination. All right, got more blood echoes now. There's two little bastards over here. You can cheese these guys. Come and get me. Are they chasing me? Hey, I gotta get him to chase me. Oh God. Uh, fight the pigs, not me. I hope they killed the pigs. Did they? Or did they kill each other? Really? There you go. Oh, they actually killed the pigs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You guys did good. I'm actually proud of you guys. There we go. See those pig? If I didn't have that much health on, those piggies would have killed me. I, I'm, I'm only just thinking right now, man. If I was in New Game Plus, I would have gotten wrecked. This item here was actually a lure. So when you oh, there's an item over here, and then the piggies just rushed you in that little corner. <laughs> She's trying to summon another player. I wish I knew where she was. Uh, not a lot of people are playing Bloodborne nowadays. I mean, there are some people playing, just not a lot of them. I'm taking a small detour to get try to get the last bit of items I I can squeeze out of this place. Oh, there you are. She's trying to summon a player. There we go. Let's 
ceased. The sinister bell has been ceased. Yep. It's usually what happens when you kill a bell ringer. Cool. God, I'm so close to the end. There you are. I think this is one of the few little nightmares that isn't like tied to some bullshit. Usually some of them will just drag you into like a uh, into an ambush. Now that, that one didn't. That one was that one was being cool. Okay, moving on. Uh, so far, 37 minutes. Uh, it's not bad timing. Considering that the final... Uh, okay, now this guy is considered a final boss of ending 1. And then there's an ending 2 boss and then an ending 3 boss. I'm trying to get the ending 3 boss. Uh, what is this? Blood bios. Nice. Queen Yarnum. God, she is so tall. She's the original queen of uh, Yarnum. Oh, let me see. I've never actually gotten a good look at her before. Her hair is tied back. She's got short hair. Is that a veil? Yeah, that's a veil. Okay, her hair is kind of like... Whoa, her eyes. Hold up. I'm trying to get a good look at her. Her eyes are black. Or are her eyes missing? Yeah, what does it say? No mercy for the ailing or woeful infant. Now I gotta kill her kid. Now this unlocks the last shortcut. Yes. This will unlock unlock the last shortcut, so let's unlock it now so that I can I don't have to deal with it later. Okay, now this takes me this way. Okay, cool. So that was the last one. Uh, all the all this is just it goes all the way around. And I'm actually gonna head back now into the Hunter's Dream and finish up a couple things before I beat that boss. Yes. Let's go back. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I came back to the sick room because, again, if you recall, uh, that weird lady's here. She closed the door on me again. She closed the door on me. Cut. Okay, I got to go around. <laughs> like, she freaking cunt. Closed the door on me. Uh, she actually closed the door for a reason. It's because she didn't want to be disturbed. Uh, she did something. Which is fine because uh, I'm just going to go around and... Alright, I went around. Time to time to deal with this. If you remember correctly, I came here before and then like some lady was talking to me like all nice, like, oh hello. You smell like a pale moon hunter. And then I didn't go in. I, I did that for a reason. Cause I gotta deal with her now. There she is. How you doing, Tucci? God, I'm nauseous. Have you found it? No. It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I'm... Oh, God, it feels awful. But... It proves that I'm chosen. I doubt that. Okay, so basically this is what happened. She was experimenting a little bit too much with the patients. And then she experimented on herself. Uh, she, she was pregnant. Uh, a lot of the women that were pregnant, or mainly women actually, uh, for that matter, uh, are affected by the blood moon. E even in real life. Um, 
I remember my, my mother told me this. So like, if if uh, if your wife's pregnant or someone's pregnant, and there's a full moon, make sh- uh, and if there's a red moon, make sure they don't go outside. The red moon affects the babies, and this is kind of like how, in its own distorted distorted way. Uh, this is basically what what's happening right now. Uh, the blood moon came out. It's affecting women, uh, primarily pregnant women. Uh, she said that something is writhing, something inside her head. But in in truth, it's, it's writhing all over her body. That that's why she's twitching. Uh, there's something inside her that's actually doing all of that. That's why she said, "Oh, I'm chosen. Uh, you're not chosen. Uh, you're just uh, unfortunate." Oh well. Yep, the umbilical cord. That's what I needed. She's dead. I don't feel bad at all. Uh, next step, I gotta go and take another small detour and head somewhere else. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, this is the next step. Finding her. Uh, I know where she is. Yeah, I actually know where she went. Uh, these are all... Going mad. Okay. They're all going mad. She went this way, actually. Now, again, uh, if you guys recall from when I was... I think I began. No. I think it was when I got abducted. Uh, before I go down there, I gotta say this before I got up... Before I go down there, I gotta say this. Uh, if, you, if you remember when I, when I got abducted and I talked about the hero's journey, uh, when I talked about the belly of the whale and about... How a moment I actually forgot to do that for you guys. Uh, I gotta remind myself to do that. Actually, let me write it down so I don't forget. Uh, there's a really awesome content. Uh, he used to make a lot of content back then. That's, uh, unfortunately, he didn't. Uh, he doesn't do it anymore. Uh, his name's Soul Purpose. Soul Purpose. Purpose. Uh, link. That way, I link his video on the description in case you guys are interested to see like the more detailed explanation of. Uh, the inverted hero's journey because uh, you see a lot of YouTube videos on the lore uh, body beat is pretty good Even though he's running pretty dry on content right now uh, So purpose actually dissected the game a lot better than I've seen other players do it He only dissected the primary game itself. He didn't go into the DLC, but He talked about the hero's journey again. I again, talked about the hero's journey uh, about Basically, how should I say this? It's inverted. So instead of feeling like a hero at the end, uh, you don't. Uh, you're you're demoralized. This is where I'm gonna head into next. This is probably uh, and he was right. It's one of the more horrifying events in this game. Uh, personally, it's one of the most horrifying events I've actually ever witnessed in gaming, in general. Uh, even even though I played a lot of horror games, which I am. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Resident Evil 8 soon, so I uh, look forward to that. But if you guys know the story of uh, Jesus and Mary about how when Jesus was pregnant, uh, she took her child to a major and then basically, you know, gave birth to God. And uh, I mean, gave, uh, she gave birth to Jesus Christ. This is basically what happened to Ariana. The only difference is that one, yes, she was impregnated by God, but it wasn't she wasn't told. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I can tell, man. This is, this is horrifying, actually. Uh, but let's do it. Again, this is a... There we go. See, instead of taking her baby to a major like Mary did, she brought it to the gutter. So she gave birth to a... She gave birth to an infant great one. But... See? It's all thanks to seduction. Nothing but grief here. Yeah, this is exactly it. Now, one of the weird and strange things is that, again, she was impregnated by a god. Uh, that's Odeon. One of the things that made, again, this is, this is the inverted hero's journey. So one of the things that, that was brought up is, again, um, when... When... When God told Mary that she was going to give birth to Jesus, it's because of her virginity 
and that's how she you know and that's how jesus was born through her virginity she was blessed through the child of god and then that's how the story goes this one uh, i had two women in there one was a virgin because she was a uh, she was a priestess she, she was a blood priestess so even though she was primarily of the church uh, god impregnated ariana who was a whore uh, the difference between the two is that one had special blood, the other one did it, and the other one didn't. Again, th this is inverted. Uh, it, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to take all expectations and kind of like flip them on their head. That's why it's, again, it is horrifying because, again, uh, instead of bringing her baby to a major or, you know, embracing her child like a mother would, uh, she brought it to the gutters. She's going mad. <laughs> As to how she has special blood, uh, if you remember when I did the... The kind of side quest of Kanehurst Castle, I did grab a Kanehurst dress. Uh, that's why she has special blood. Uh, if, if you remember correctly, from what I said about her special blood, is that her blood comes from the Queen of Yarnum. Uh, she's descendant of the of the Thamerians. That's basically what the what the Kanehurst nobles are, or the Kanehurst denizens. Uh, they're descendants from the original queen, which we just saw a second ago. In Murgle's loft. That's the queen. Uh, her blood is what gave. Basically that that's what gave birth to the bio bloods. That's why she's descended from those. And that's why she had that special blood. Because. Originally uh, it was a god. I, I, I don't know if it's Odin. Or Odion. Who impregnated Queen Yarnum long ago. It's, it's not really specified. But that's where that special blood. Comes, uh, comes into play. Again this is horrifying. Because uh, she, she went mad. She's, she's actually gone. It doesn't matter who you hit here. Uh, they both die. Uh, they're connected through a... Through like a special bond. And this is very similar to... If, if you guys played Berserk, this is very similar. Where Casca went mad. And she gave birth to a kind of like a weird deformed baby creature. It's very similar. It doesn't matter who you attack. They, uh, they're both bound together. Sorry, bud. Third umbilical cord. If I would attack the baby, she would have died. But that's it. That's again. This is horrifying. A lot of people are dying. But I know I, I kind of ranted on a little bit about that explanation. I think like a couple minutes. But I wanted you guys to know, like, you know, this is uh, the inverted hero's journey. This is not supposed to be taken into the fact that once you beat the game, uh, you're the hero and, and you and you clear everything 100%, and you, you should feel like number one. That's not what the game is trying to get to you. The game is trying to basically demoralize you to the point where uh, you understand your place in the universe. That your actions don't mean anything. Even if those actions come from a hero. Uh, that line that's actually taken from uh, Soul Purpose, that's actually something he said. He said, like, you know, that humanity is actually very small in the eyes of the cosmos. And that's basically, again, that, that's basically what we just witnessed right now. And that's basically the concept of this game. It's meant, the game's meant to demoralize you. Heading back to the Hunter's Dream. And then heading back to Murgle's Loft to fight the final boss of this area. And then finish off the game. So, 
and let's head over to the ending. All right, showtime. Now the boss I'm about to fight, he is again. He's considered the final boss of this uh, of the base story. Now there's something I've always wondered: is this item right here? I can't pick it up. Oh god, I can't pick it up. I gotta use it. Okay. Okay. I've always wondered why why this item was here. Nothing is just placed randomly. If if they wanted to give us like a special healing item, they would have just given us a regular healing item. I've always wondered why this was here. Makes me wonder if Yosefka has something to do with it. And that's something I've always like asked myself that maybe she had something she played a bigger role, basically, in, in the whole scheme of things. But she was killed by the imp imposter Yosefka. I hate all of you. I'm actually glad this happened to you guys. Fuck you guys. Let's go. Let's do this. Final boss of the base story. Bring it. Yeah. This is Murgos Wet Nurse. Again, she is considered the final boss of ending one. Oh. God. No. Uh-oh. There's one attack I don't like. It's the one where she spins. Whoa. This one. Oh. I'm gonna take her out really. Again, I, I'm overpowered because I went through the DLC. There we go. She didn't even get into her second stage. Once the baby starts crying, the battle's over. Basically, there we go. He went, he went back to sleep. Basically, when the baby went back, oh, I got a lot of blood echoes. When the baby went back to sleep, uh, that signified the end of the nightmare. Because, again, uh, the baby is the one causing all this. The only problem is that the baby doesn't have a corporeal body. Can't see him. So when the baby's awake, he, he creates the nightmares. And that is it for this boss fight. I'm going to be heading back and then ending the game. Alright, this is it. Uh, I get one more piece of dialogue from, from the doll and that signifies the end of this, uh, of this playthrough. Good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Thank you. It actually seems kind of sad. I, I always feel this way whenever I, I play a game. Uh, I always feel kind of like, like this emptiness and I don't want to finish it. Oh, the cost parasite. 60,000? Oh, God. Again, I'm going to do a separate video uh, detailing more about the lore instead of trying to bore you guys. Just do the regular playthrough itself and then go with it, basically. Uh, repair. I'm going to repair everything. Church pick. I got everything ready for a second playthrough. Will I do a second playthrough? 
Well, not anytime soon, but I, I will do it. Just not now. 21 Insight. Got everything set up and ready. Time to fight the final boss. Now, before I fight the final boss, actually, I am going to read some descriptions. And then I'm going to consume the items. Because I cannot take these items into New Game Plus, so I got to do it now. So, here they are. I got all four, which is nice. It's for the secret ending. First one. Oops. First one. A great relic, also known as the Court of the Eye. Every grand every infant great one has this precursor to their umbilical cord. Every great great one loses a child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord participated in the encounter with the pale moon and beckoned the hunters and conceived and, and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain gain insight, and so they say, eyes on the inside. Although no one remembers what that truly entails. This is the one I found in German's shop. This should tell you what happened to German. Uh, he beckoned the pale moon, and then it, it again it beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Uh, German did this. Next one. Uh, the first half uh, I already read it, so again uh, no one truly tells. So only the middle part is different. Uh, from all these, only the middle. Okay, so middle part. Every great one loses a child and then yearns for a surrogate. And Odeon, the formless great one, is no different. To think it was corrupted blood that began this eldritch liaison. Again, this is the one I got from um, Ariana, the one with the baby in, in the sewers. It's the one I got from her. Uh, again, this uh, signifies that Odeon kind of did his thing with her. Uh, dude is nasty, <laughs> basically. Uh Again, it does details that to think that it was corrupted blood that began this Eldritch liaison. So even though I, the nun was also there, uh, he went with the one with the corrupted blood. Next one, Progress William sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one. By, lim by lining his brain with eyes, the only choice he knew if man were ever to match their greatness. Actually, I don't remember where I got this one. I think I got this in. I don't remember where I got this one. Actually, I, I forgot. Because I. Endurance for Sergei. Uh, Menses. This is the one I just got. So this one. Wait, Proverbs Williams sought a chord in order to elevate his beings and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with eyes. The only choice he knew if he were ever to match their greatness. This is the one I got from the fake Glosefka. If I remember correctly, there was a line that uh, Alfred said. Wow. He said that, th that a Bergenworth scholar betrayed his own and then gave the corrupted blood to the Biobloods. And that's how the, the, the first Biobloods were born. It doesn't detail where she went or he went. So now I know it's a she because it was her. And she was the Bergenworth scholar. That makes sense. Okay, so that's why she had this. She must have consumed this thing. Yeah. Next one. This is the one I just got. Uh, every great one loses his child and then yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Mensis audience with Mergo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Again, they deserved it. Screw you guys. Uh, granted Mensis audience with Mergo. Uh, again, Mergo is the baby. I think they woke the baby up with the ritual, and that's what caused all of this. Time to consume these. Yeah, I got one down. I, I, I only need to consume the three to see the secret ending. But because I can't take those cords with me in New Game Plus, might as well just consume all of them. Yes. And then the last one. Yes, this one. Let's do it. That's it. Whew. Final boss time. Well, because I consumed the three umbilical cords, I will unlock the secret ending. Where are you? There you are. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. 
No. I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Now, submit your life is ending one. Refusing is ending two. If you consume the three umbilical cords, that is ending three. But I want to see, I want to let you guys see the secret ending, so I'm going to refuse. <laughs> I turned up the music of the game. I might lower my voice here in just a second. Because the song to this boss fight dear, is phenomenal. Oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It was all of the above. Oh, it doesn't matter. Man, I wish you could get his armor. Uh, I mean, that, that, that hunter suit. But you never do. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Bring it, old man. God, he is really tall, actually. God, he's fast. Okay, I'm screwing around. Oh, God. All right, I'm done screwing around. Let's go. Oh God, he's he's not. God, he does a lot of damage. Trying to transform. <laughs> I want to let him. He can parry me without. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of, screw you, dude. I'm like. Do it. God, he's fast. Okay, here comes the last boss fight. Now, if I didn't absorb the umbilical cords, uh, Gurman would have been the final boss. Again, each boss is representative. Uh, if I if I would have accepted my death, uh, Murgo's wet nurse would have been the the final boss, or Gurman, and now this guy. Sorry, dude. He doesn't like that. Oh yeah? God, you're ugly. Oh, this guy's not actually that difficult. I think Garmin was harder.
Yeah, Ger uh, Garmin definitely does more damage. Oh, no, no, no. Backing off. Oh, God. Oh, I don't have enough. I gotta kill him. I don't have enough to do it again. Come on, dude. Oh. That felt good. Oh, it's all over. 358,000 blood echoes. Yeah. Game over. This is the secret ending. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. That's it. Game is over. That's it. Uh, Garmin was actually really hard. <laughs> uh, I think I was just playing around in the beginning. I almost lost all of my all of my blood boss in the beginning. I'm gonna turn on the volume to the to the credits here just a second so I can talk a little bit. Uh, that was the again. That was a secret ending. Uh, you, you could only have gotten that secret ending ending if you did the kind of like the little specifics again uh if i would have done ending one and were accepted my death uh german would have killed the the main character and then he would have woken up in the in the real world uh, it's basically the same of as what happened to uh, mikolesh uh where i killed him and then he woke up but he was already dead if you remember he was already a corpse so when he when i killed him uh he he woke up in a way uh, if German would have killed me, I would have woken up just uh, like regularly. Uh, let me turn this up just a little bit more. Uh, okay, and then uh, that was ending one and ending two. Uh, German doesn't kill you, and so instead you just fight him. And then when you kill German, uh, German dies and you take his place. Now basically that's what happens in ending two. Uh, you just take his place and then you become the master of the dream. And then you basically, you take on the role that Gurman had, uh, basically teaching other hunters so that they can continue the hunt. Ending 3 is where I fought the Moon Presence. Now the Moon Presence ending is really weird. It's actually hard to describe the third ending. Uh, it's It kind of goes into that, it, it kind of goes into that psycho motion. Uh, some players say some players say and, and even on the on the on the trophy description it says uh you became an infant great a great one uh ushering in a new a, oh wait a doll oh that's who oh that's who voices the doll uh, uh basically uh your infinite great one uh ushering in uh humanity uh, humanity into his next child uh childhood uh, that, there's that speculation that, again, uh, you're basically going to restart the cycle from the beginning again. Uh, it's it's going to go back to where uh, people don't know about the blood. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's scary when you think about it. Because uh, if you go back into, again, it's next childhood. Uh, you're starting from the beginning again. Um, people are going to forget what happened. I'm looking at all the people that worked on the, All these phenomenal people that worked on this game. Um, again, you got, you got to keep that in mind that, uh, okay, um, if you go back to zero, people are going to basically gonna start all over, like taking the blood and they're going to experiment. It's going to just basically cycle again. Uh, the other theory is that, uh, because you killed the, the, uh, the moon presence again, uh, he, uh, he, he's the presence of the blood moon. And when you put into the account that, okay, you died. And became an infant great one. Uh, one of the theories is that you become the next. Uh, you become the next moon presence. And that the doll. The doll's actually a great one. 
who is actually the presence of the pale moon. They're kind of like the opposites of, of each other. Uh, and that's why when she picks it up, uh, she's kind of uh, giggling. That's one theory. The other theory is that, uh, again, uh, it, it goes back into that theory that the doll is a great one. And that she, uh, uh, if you remember from one of, the, one of the item descriptions in the umbilical cord is that uh, every great one loses its infant and then seeks for a surrogate. That's basically what um, the doll's doing right there. Uh, maybe she feels that kind of like that kind of motherly calling where she sees an infant gray one on the floor and then she picks it up to care for it again uh, and er every gray one will lose its infant and will seek for a surrogate and that's why I feel like when the doll picks up that uh, picks up the character basically the the main the main protagonist I, when she picks him up it kind of signals to that uh, uh, to that effect that she that, that she is a great one and she was and, and she was looking for a surrogate either or a lot of the theories uh they they have a lot of basis in uh, how should I say this they actually have a lot of basis in like theory crafting especially when you look at how uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki uh, craft these games, whether it be uh, any kind of the Soulsborne games, or again Bloodborne for this, for example, he, uh, he always leaves everything up for interpretation. Uh, you can basically come up with your own um, solutions or, or your own or your own way to tell the story. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I like his 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 method of uh, telling stories. Uh, a lot of players don't even go in, in depth into the story itself. Some of them just play, play the game, and then say, "Oh, it's really hard, and it's, it's really fun, and I was able to conquer this, and then I'm done." But uh, again, uh, th there's a deeper meaning behind everything in Bloodborne, and I think that's one of the main driving forces to why I always come back to playing this game, even after it was it was released 15, uh, 2015. It was a year before the release of. Uh, King's Raid. So this game's older than King's Raid. So the fact that I keep continuing to come back to this game is actually it demonstrates uh, just how good the game really is. As to what happens now, uh, it's New Game Plus, baby. <laughs> so I'm actually this actually uh, signals the end of the game. Uh, I'm actually gonna start all over from the very beginning. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna start over. I'm just saying uh, this is what's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna wake up in the hospital. You, yeah, I don't care about you. See, I wake up in the hospital. It's New Game Plus. Uh, you keep everything that that you obtained from your first playthrough. Uh, you keep everything. Where does this take me? So let's do this. So basically, you start all over. The only thing that you don't keep are the keys. Uh, all the keys are gone, uh, but you keep all your badges. I, I get. I kept the old hunter badge. It's the one I got from German. Uh, you keep all your badges, you keep all your weapons, every single type of weapon that, that you actually got, possessed, bought, etc. All, all, all of the blood gems, the, the runes, every single one of these, I still gotta go through these. Oh, God. Good. God, I still gotta go through that shit. <laughs> uh, you keep all your hunter tools, and that's it for New Game Plus. Uh, besides keeping everything, and going through the game again, again, uh, the game is uh, significantly harder. It's new game plus, so the game uh, the game is it's actually a little bit more challenging. Yeah. Besides that point, yeah, that's it for Bloodborne. Um, I, I I'm gonna continue talking just a little bit extra, uh, primarily because again, uh, it, it, I just said that this game came out in 2015, and I still continue to play it. So I still continue to enjoy it. If I didn't have Resident Evil 8 to play, um. Actually, I think the next game I would I would have played was uh, Near, uh, the Near remake. But I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Bloodborne and then and then talk a little bit about the other games that I'm gonna be covering in in this channel. So again, um, when it comes to Bloodborne, uh, the story and lore, a lot, a lot of players don't don't really look at the lore of the game. The game's actually a lot more deeper than than what it actually looks like. 
Uh, it's it's got deeper meaning. It's it's just a phenomenal game all around. Uh, when it, I I I know you guys. Uh, whoever from the guys that watch my King's Ray videos, uh, I'm not very too I'm not too that knowledgeable when it comes to King's Raid or different scalings or playing in difficulty mode. But when it comes to Bloodborne, I always feel like this adrenaline rush when I play. It. Uh, it is difficult at times. It gets more difficult as the new game plus the stages start to stack on. Uh, I, I like the complexity of even the weapons themselves. Oops, I took this off. Of the weapons themselves, uh, mastering the weapons and then learning everything about them, the scaling. Uh, again, I might not know much about King's Raid, but when it comes to other games, I've actually learned to master a little bit of them. Uh, you didn't notice I told them I would play around and then I was kind of like uh, eating trash because I was playing <laughs> I was playing too confidently um, again overall if you guys ask me uh, sh uh, should you if you guys don't have a PlayStation 4 uh, should I buy a PlayStation 4 to play Bloodborne yeah because unfortunately it's the only platform you can play it on uh, it, there's no PC uh, it, it, it's PlayStation exclusive uh, unless you guys are really really crazy and you bought a ps5 then you can you can play it on the ps5 uh you can just download it through the playstation store i believe i believe i gotta double check that actually no you can't it's not on playstation 5 uh probably because they might make a remake or they might make a playstation uh may, they might make a bloodborne too but no it's not it's only available on, on the PlayStation 4. strange excuse me uh strange hmm. But yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to basically buy a PlayStation 4 if you want to play this. Uh, should, oh, should you waste money to buy a PlayStation 4 to play Bloodborne? Uh, yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> Again, uh, there are other great games on the PlayStation 4 besides Bloodborne, but uh, when it comes to games themselves, I think Bloodborne is definitely worth the the time and investment into playing this game. Again, yeah, the game you can download it. I uh, think it's like twenty bucks now with everything. Uh, the game, the base game itself, and the DLC. So it's definitely worth uh, worthwhile the bundle. Uh, you guys saw the DLC is quite long. It's actually quite long for for a DLC. It's actually again, it's worth. It's actually worth it. Uh, overall, uh, again, I did recommend the game. I did love the game. Uh, I recommend you guys playing it. I recommend you guys actually going through the story itself and actually enjoying it uh enjoying the difficulty of it and i guess that should be it uh that should be it for now for bloodborne i am gonna release a video later on in the future uh showcasing the lore because i did get a lot of items i did not read the descriptions of which i will uh, i plan on just making a video just on the lore itself i think that i think that's gonna be the better option than me trying to read every single piece of uh item i possess I think that's going to be better for you guys. That way I can just like write everything down. Uh, write everything chrono chronologically in order. So again, I'm, I'm not talking like randomly like I was in, in my past videos where I was like, I think this is it. And I think this is that. No, I think I'm going to do it chronologically and write it down and do, do my analysis myself. Gather all the intel and then make a separate video just for the lore. So I hope you guys are actually looking forward to that. Besides that, uh, after this, uh, uploading this video, I'm going to be doing a couple more King's Raid uh, video, uh, video guides. And then I'm going to be start, I'm going to start playing Resident Evil 8. So look forward to that as well. As for King's Raid content, if you guys watch my King's Raid content, uh, I will be making a couple guides. I did get a lot of uh, intel on Kersey. So I'll be doing a guide on her. Uh, as for now, that should be it. So again, uh, thanks for coming by and actually watching me play bloodborne i hope you guys really enjoyed it again it's my first playthrough so i'm, I'm sorry for my stuttering a lot uh and I'm, I'm still learning how to speak more fluently so uh hopefully uh, playing games like this uh helps with my speaking skills when doing king's race so i'm not stuttering so much uh it still hurts my my cheeks a little bit when i talk too much so that's why sometimes I gotta stop and like, oh fuck, it's starting to hurt. So, again, uh, thank you for coming through this journey for Bloodborne. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Take care, guys.